Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to another one of my solo hunts. I head out for a solo mission for a few hours before teaming up with my girlfriend Lily just before nightfall. Nothing like a girl's only hunt. Hey guys, how you going? I'm heading out on my own tonight and gonna meet up with one of my girlfriends. She's gonna um, come out and do a little bit of the property of myself until I pick her up, but it is extremely hot, humid. Uh, this place missed a bit of the rain, but where I'm going to is the next property along got a lot of the rain, so I've just got the buggy on. And yeah, just got Lou and Bam and got Rocco for the night time and ducks on the other side. But yeah, with this heat, I'd say they'll be out on the water still. Very humid. But yeah, hopefully, um, yeah, go get some mud on the tires. Cheers, guys. The dogs were starting to get keen, and as soon as we approached the first dam, Lou and Bam jumped off. Once they jumped, I knew they would be around the corner, and sure enough, I could see the pigs up ahead. It was good to see the boys grab one pig each. I took care of Bams and went over to Lou's pig. As soon as I grabbed Lou's pig, he was too eager to run on and catch other pigs and let go of the sow and she turned around and bit me. Luckily I had jeans on and I didn't have any injuries, but this is something that can happen quite easily out hunting when you be too complacent. Get him, Lou! Good boy, hold on him. I've had my fair share of close calls over the years, and here's another close call that we caught on the camera a few years ago. Yeah, give me a little hurry up. Lucky he doesn't have any tusks. Oh, well that was a good start. No balls, but yeah, good for the dogs to get one each. Good boys. So I've just seen some cattle run off. It's really hot. Sit down. I just want to see if there's any water in here. Oh, no water. Come on boys, let's get up. So, even though there wasn't any water there, 
it's definitely um, a good indication if you're in the paddock in the heat of the day cattle are usually hanging around somewhere that's really cool or water so they're very similar in a lot of their feeding patterns uh, they eat grass too so usually find whatever the cattle are doing the pigs are not far behind just see a black and white wall running off the dam and so we headed out after it. Okay, so here's that ball we got. <laughs> Seen him trotting off the water. He must have heard us coming and went off the water's edge. And luckily for us, he had to um, cross through the creek. And as he was coming out the other side, we um, seen him run off. So Lou was on to him first. Hey, Lou. Good boys. The video probably don't do how the justice of how hot it freaking is. It's humid. Even the GoPros hot to hold. Rocco hasn't even done anything and he's hot. Hello. I got back to the car and loaded on the buggy and kept on heading to catch up with my girlfriend Lily who was waiting for me. This is Lily's dog Luda. She is a Dane Mastiff and she is six years old and she's just had the past eight months off hunting while Lily was away working on cattle stations and catching bulls in WA. And this is Lily's and Luda's first hunt since being back. To say we're a little excited was an understatement. <laughs> Hey, so we just got the buggy off and yeah, Lily's keen, loaded up and ready to get in somewhere. Luda and Lou were on the back and ready for the hunt. The 
The dogs had a few jumps on some dams, but nothing serious. We were hoping to get Lily and Luda a peek in the daylight. We pushed on checking some really nice river flats and the sun was starting to set and things weren't looking good getting Lily a pig. The sun was nearly set and luckily for us, the God gave us a gift pig on the side of the track. Good to break it. Yes. <laughs> and in the daylight. Yes. Yeah. Just, yeah. just on daylight. But yeah, we'll um, hopefully find a big boar next. A few farmers have told us that when the prickly pears start to flower, the rain is only a day or two away. And that was surely the case as there was a storm in the horizon. Rocco and Luda jumped off and again within another 50 metres. And the wind was coming hard from our left as it was quite breezy with the storm around. We decided to get the thermal out and Lily had a look to the right on the downside of the wind and sure enough she could see some heat down the tree line. Rocco had peeled out the good boar from the mob but at his old age he was just getting too slow to pull him up and I let the pups out to give him a hand. Get on him. Good on him, Bat. Bat, Jax. On the head. On the head, Jax. Jax, ah, Jax. Yeah, so we um, just come back to that boar because uh, when we got this boar, Luda was still on a pig on her own. She got her own uh, big sow of that mob. So we had to just quickly race and help her out. And yeah, we wore the dogs, cooled them down, and yeah, come to check out this big boar and see what he really looks like. He really put the chase on. Good boy, Lily. Always a good boy. Yeah, Rocco took ages to pull this fella up. Um, he's been in retirement for the last month and a bit unfit. And we're just bringing him out for the younger dogs, but um, to help him out, pretty much semi-retiring now. It's a bit sly. Took ages to pull up. But yeah, good little boy anyway. Good times. Boy, Rocco. We decided to keep using the thermal on the bottom side of the wind and sure enough, Lily spotted another good boar, so the chase was on again. this boar up and um yeah drove towards him and Luda jumped knew where he was and yeah he didn't get too far away she um had him anchored down definitely she's a strong bitch <laughs> been on holidays for a few months so good to see she's still got it definitely After getting two good boars, we decided to call it a night before the storm hit us. We had a great night catching up and I hope you enjoyed watching. 